Hello friends, it's Colleen here. So it's day two since I've been back from vacation and in my craft room. And I have a couple of, uh, or well, uh, three of these loaded page pockets that I thought I would share with you. I, um, I planned on doing something completely different last evening, but um, I happened to glance at a video by Natasha from the Treasure Books and she of course inspires me always. Uh, so I thought I'd do my own little take on these uh, page pocket loaded envelopes that she made. They're adorable and super simple. Everybody could do these. They're pretty quick too. Um, and you can load them up as much as you want. You could stuff even more than I have in these. That's why I love them so much. They're just, they would make great gifts, great happy mail. Um, yeah, and of course using up um, old book pages that would otherwise have been tossed in the garbage from thrift stores, etc. So bringing things to life is, um, of course, what most of us like to do. So let's get at it all. I'll, I'll show you one of these because really they're they're pretty similar. No point in going through every single one of them. But uh, four book, uh, basically, there's four book pages here. So I'll just show you how much you can stuff them. There's a little. Look at that so you could just this is an altar card playing card that I made lots of lots and lots of journaling spots in these so cute just uh whatever you have in your stash ladies the trick to this or not the trick because this is just what I like and how Natasha also did it but Every, every layer you put in your pocket, just make sure you either angle your um, pieces so that we can you can show um, just all the different layers. Otherwise, if you tuck everything in uniform, then you won't see all the pretty little pieces. And I love that layered look. And then in the front, you just take some scraps, rip them up, layer them, do a bit of a collage. And that's the front of your... Um, loaded page pocket this is what it looks like bare so there's one pocket here one here and one here so that's basically it easy peasy quick and easy i'll just stuff these really quick here lots of uh color i love I love uh, just kind of, there's really, the, the thing with, as you know from other tutorials I do, I love to say there are no rules because it's true. There are no rules. It's your, this is your thing. Make it your own. But it is fun to learn from each other. So yeah. Anyways, thanks Natasha for showing yours because I've been inspired. So that's one. This is just another glimpse. Lots of different layers in here. And this is my third one. Made them, like I said, last evening. Not really expecting to. You can use up different, this here is just a cutout um, from part of a printable that I had. So I just cut it into a strip and now it just sticks in and it shows some color. And of course the, the back tag. I like texture, so try to use um, some fun little pieces of fabric. So let's get at it. I'll show you quickly how to do one. I have basically everything ready here. So let's go through it together. So you've got your first bottom layer or your bottom page layer. You want two pages glued together. So you're gonna glue only the sides and the bottom because remember, this is gonna be a pocket. But before you do that, what I did and what Natasha showed was you just do a little, let's do it this way. It just kind of gives the, the, the back pocket a bit of a defined, defined section as to where you're going to slip the back tag. And then you can just Do all your distressing you don't have to but <clears throat> one thing with it is it does define 
the lines, which I like. So let's glue this down. This is my Turbo Tacky Glue. I absolutely love it because it's always in its right position to start gluing. And you don't have to press very hard. Now, Natasha um, sewed her edges. So any of you that have a sewing machine, <clears throat> I did try that uh, sewing machine adventure, but it didn't go too well, so I've returned it. The machine I bought turned out to be a... Uh, not a very good one, so I decided not to keep it. So that's the bottom. And then you're going to take one of the other two pieces you have, fold it in half so that the, um, the words are upright, and just measure it so that it comes to the bottom of your page. So let's glue it down, the flop part down, because you don't need this part. So you're going to glue it, and now you're going to glue it to the actual page. So remember, sides and bottom, because you want your pocket to actually work. Do, 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 do. Don't you just love crafting? Oh my goodness, I could just sit in here all day. But that's not real life, so I just had a workout. So I'm all sweaty, but thought I, oh, I thought what I should do before you glue this down, ladies, for, you know, just for your own convenience. Don't forget to distress the top of the pocket so that it makes it very clear where it begins and, and ends. <laughs> okay, so now this is your last page. This is the fourth page. I'm going to fold it over just like you did this pocket and line it up so um, just kind of giving it whatever size pocket you want to have at the bottom uh, let's see take your pencil I do anyways now I didn't make my edges completely straight because this is just a real quick little tutorial I don't like to take a lot of time doing tutorials I hope that's okay with everybody I try to get it done as quickly as I can because you know what, sometimes you can ramble on and ramble on and not really enjoy it. So I'm going to glue this little part together. Okay, so this is the third little pocket and I'm going to just line it up with the bottom of the page. Oh, I remembered, remembered to um, ink the pocket edge. So there you go. That's basically three pockets right there. So I'm going to glue it down both sides and the bottom, but not the top. It's okay. When I first started doing these, oh yeah, I would glue the top many times and have to take it apart. It's easy to forget. Okay, so as you can see how quick and easy this is already. And again, if you have a sewing machine, zigzag or straight stitch would be really quite cute, actually. But you know what I did? I did the cheater way. These are called faux stitches. If you want, so I'm just going to show you quickly. You can just make your own. Give it that sewed effect. Right, ladies? There's no rules. We can make our own sewing machine just like this. All you need is a pen and a ruler. You don't even need a ruler. I just have a straight line issue, so I tend to use one. So there, kind of looks like a bit of a sewed, sewed up pocket. And now comes the fun part. So I've already chosen just grabbed a bunch of stuff from my stash. So we'll just start stuffing this pocket up. This is a cute tag, I thought. Dated it, September 1. First day of a new month. So that goes in the back. And this is a really cute um, vintage postcard envelope. 
25 cents and I like the colors on it so we're going to put that in there and here's a postcard rose this is cute too I thought lots of um, nice big spaces for your journaling this here I had no idea what I was going to do with these three strips of the you know the ends of paper and whatnot so I I just cut the edges straight distressed and I added this adorable brad it's a safety pin brad that I found at the dollar store oh my goodness isn't it cute and you can just use it for whatever so I thought that would be cute nice little texture layer there this official handbook um, a piece of ephemera actually there's all kinds of fun ephemera out there so yeah this one might be a bit big here so what I'll do is I'll just switch this up put some blue there I won't use that one that's too big some nice color there took a piece of uh, an end of a page I angled it for a tab the tab um, a, um, corners took a tab topper stapled it and added a couple pieces of word Fetty makes kind of a cute little tag this is an adorable button it's ephemera piece that I think you might have seen me use oh that's cute like that oh I'm gonna do that I think you've seen, I, I put it in one of my, uh, actually one of my latest file folders. Get in there. Okay. So let's see, is there anything else I can add in this beauty? You know what? I can. I'm going to put, this was going to be the front, a butterfly. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I will. So let's stick to my plan here. So it gives you the idea. They make, aren't they just so cute? Now, for the front here, you can, like here, just take your scraps, tear them up, and get, do a bit of a collage, just, you know, to add a bit of a decoration in the front. This one I took a torn up, you know, postcard paper I had, a little, a little um, ticket. Yeah, so you could do whatever you've got in front of you there. But because I like texture... I think we're going to put a piece of cheesecloth behind this one. Do this one a bit different. And uh, use some word fetty, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I'll put a piece of brown paper. I like to use up. Maybe we'll do that. First, I'm going to take my handy dandy little stapler these are really really um, handy to have it's a Tim Holtz tiny attacher I believe it's called and I'm going to staple this if I can get it in there just kind of staple the collage together and then I'll glue it Maybe I'll use this glue. This is a PVA glue that I put into a smaller uh, container for, because I want a very small bead of glue. This thing is wonderful. And there you have it. always remember to take my little pen here and put it in the tip of this bottle to keep the glue from drying and it's lid. There you have it. PVA glue in a little bottle. Okay, there you got it girls. Go around and distress the edges a little better. See how fast this was? I mean, yes, I had, I had already chosen um, the pieces that I was going to put in here but again that didn't take me long either so layer it up you can add even more stuff sometimes I don't know when to stop but I'm going to stop so 
thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Let me know um, in the comments. And um, also, too, once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway. So I'm looking forward to that. I really appreciate how many subscribers I have already. It's uh, been so, so enjoyable. I didn't think that my channel would grow very much, but it's it's been a lot of fun and I appreciate you all. I love all your encouragement. You've, you've been, even when I was on vacation, I had a lot of messages that you had missed me and this and, and that just touched my heart. So I do appreciate you. Um, and I will see you maybe tomorrow with another another craft to show you. So take care, everybody.